Hi everyone, it's Steve, and I've got a new toy to play with. This is an Intel NUC. It is a mini PC, and it packs quite a punch. Core i7, 10th generation processor, uh, and it's expandable up to 64 gigabytes of RAM. And the great thing about these things is that you can mount them on the back of your monitor. Perfect. All the wires are going to be nice and hidden behind the monitor. You have much more desk space to work with. And in general, it looks much more tidy. But I have a problem. My monitor sits on top of a monitor arm and it has an existing bracket. So there's no way I can stick this on here without it competing with the existing bracket. So I'm going to have to figure out a way around that. Okay, before we get too deep into this project, let's keep in mind that there are many existing products that already solve this problem. All of the products that I'm showing implement the VESA flat panel mounting standard, specifically the 100mm and 75mm variant, so they're practically guaranteed to work with your mini PC and any small TV or monitor. But that said, there's no fun in buying something that can easily be built. I'm going to build the extension style bracket from a sheet of ABS plastic with a thickness of 3 millimeters. ABS plastic is strong and resists cracking when bent, so it should easily support the weight of the computer. I'm envisioning building this extension bracket as follows. I want the monitor's bracket to sit on one end, and then the computer's bracket to sit as close to the monitor's bracket as possible. Then naturally, the computer will just mount on the bracket like so. Now, I want this to be as close as possible to the monitor bracket, because if I put it too far away, this won't be a problem aesthetically, but the weight of this computer might put an unnecessary torque on this pivoting portion, and that might cause the whole thing to start swinging down, and I just don't want to deal with that. So keeping it as close as possible to the uh, monitor's bracket will minimize this effect. The computer itself came with four screws that will help mount its bracket to the back of a monitor. So I'm going to use these screws to mount the bracket to my extension bracket, but in doing so I'm also going to need four nuts to hold everything in place. The other consideration I'm going to need to make is whether I want to mount my extension bracket underneath the monitor's bracket or on top of it like so. And you can picture maybe some U cut out so that this will slide over top of the monitor bracket. The reason why I want to potentially consider installing this on top is because of the length of the mounting screws that I have. These mounting screws will go all the way through the thickness of my plastic, and so if I mounted the monitor's bracket on top like so, then this part will stick out of the bottom when the computer's bracket is put on top and they'll press into the back of my monitor. I don't have any recesses or cavities that will uh, nicely hide this away, so I would have to deal with that one way or another. If I mount my extension bracket on top of the monitor bracket, then the extra thickness of the monitor bracket will provide the necessary clearance I need to get the screw all the way through and not touch the back of my monitor. Finally, I'll use this VESA template by Tom Geldner, which will help me space out my holes so that they line up perfectly with both the computer's bracket and the monitor's bracket. Alright, I've placed my templates onto the plastic so that it's spacing out the brackets pretty much where I want them, and I've spaced them from the edge about 15 millimeters so that when the bracket mounts onto the plastic, there's about half a millimeter of extra material to each of the edges. I've done that so that when I start drilling screws or placing screws into the back of this, if should they happen to crack, there's going to be plenty of material present so that it doesn't completely destroy the bracket that I'm building. For drilling, I'm going to use a small drill bit to put my holes into the plastic, and I'm going to work my way up to the appropriate size, which seems to be about 3 16 of an inch. Now normally I would use a stepper bit to do this, but I don't have one for that small size. And you generally want to use a stepper bit for drilling into plastic to prevent any type of cracking or splintering of the material. The computer mounting bracket is going to go over here, and I'm going to use the 10 centimeter spacing to mount that bracket. 
So I want to make sure I don't drill these holes at the 75 millimeter spacing. The monitor bracket is going to go over here and I am going to drill all eight of these holes because I noticed that if I punch out this square, then I'll effectively have an area that will go over top of this round dome shaped part in the middle of the bracket. That will allow me to stick my extension bracket directly on top of this bracket and not have to slide it over to the side. That's generally favorable because I'll have material on all four sides of the bracket. Then the more material there is on each side, the stronger that joint is going to be. And if that doesn't work out, then I'll just go back to my original plan of cutting a section out here so I'll have this C shape and then I'll be able to slide the bracket over top of the monitor bracket. This is a good time to check that these holes actually line up with the bracket. If they don't, you can drill the holes a little bit bigger just to give that little bit of extra wiggle room so that you can line up the bracket with the piece of plastic. I have the screws that are going to mount this bracket. Let's do a test fit to see if it will line up with the holes. All right. So far, so good. Those are going straight through. Let's test the other side. Perfect. Way to go, Tom. Good template. The next step is to draw my cutting lines. I need a line that's 15 millimeters away from these holes and these holes to emulate the edge that I have on the other side. I'm also going to mark out the square that I want to cut out of this side of the plastic. I'm going to cut my plastic with my jigsaw and I'm using a blade that's suitable for cutting plastic. I've clamped it down so that pieces aren't going to fly all over the place and I'm going to put on my safety glasses because I don't want any of this stuff to shoot up into my eyes. Jigsaws are great tools for cutting things quickly but they're also great tools for cutting off fingers and getting things stuck in your eyes so make sure you take the necessary precautions when using power tools. All finished, let's see if this square is big enough for the monitor mounting bracket. Oh, that's perfect. Look at that. I could have made it a bit smaller, but I think this will be just fine. There's a little bit of space between the circle and the square, but 
not a big deal. And there's ample material on the outside, so plenty of material there for the bolts to hold everything together. Let's go back up to the bench and start installing these components. I'm back at my desk and before I start assembling things, I've noticed that the original idea of mounting this bracket underneath the monitor bracket like so will not work as suspected. And that's because there's not enough clearance underneath this plastic to fit space for these nuts. If I were to for try and force this, then this part will bend up a little bit and there'll be a lot of pressure into the casing of the monitor and I don't want to risk breaking anything. So it looks like I was good to think this through and that this type of mounting situation will be ideal. Another thing I've noticed is I can mount this bracket in any of the four directions along the monitor. I think I'm going to settle for an upwards mount only because it keeps everything kind of nicely balanced in the center and if I ever have to access the PC I can just reach over the top of the monitor and push buttons and not have to fidget with either side. I certainly don't want to do this because this thing hanging off the back is just not very sightly. So that said, let's start putting things back together again. As a precaution, I'm going to use these longer screws than the original screws that came with this mounting bracket, mainly because I have some extra material to go through now when I mount this. The original screws were catching and they were somewhat binding everything together, but it didn't feel like a very secure mount. So the longer screws will fit all the way into the standoff that's in this side of this inside of this monitor and will give some peace of mind. Everything looks good. The only thing that I'm a little uneasy about is this wobbling, but it doesn't look so bad. And if I really need to address that, then I think I can use some rubber feet underneath this plastic to kind of prevent it from bouncing into the back of the monitor. But I think I'll be okay. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mount this computer on the bracket and I'm gonna put the monitor back on my monitor arm, which is somewhere over there and then we'll give it some testing, wobble it about, and see how this works. Okay, here we go. I think that's holding pretty well. I like it. So that wraps things up for this video. And as usual, I hope you found this information useful. Please feel free to leave a comment in below if you have any suggestions for future videos.